Welcome back graduates. Today I'm going to show you and explain to you more in depth about uh, custom page templates and custom product templates and I'm going to show you uh, in real time uh, how to assign them and why you can't assign them sometimes uh, when the uh, theme that you are working on is drafted and uh, the theme that you uh, have right now is live. Some of them you will not be able to view unless uh, the uh, theme that is drafted is live. Uh, so let's go in and let's dive a little bit into, uh, first of all, uh, how to create custom page templates, how to create custom product um, templates, and then also assigning them and the structure and the logic behind it. Uh, so right here, we have our demo store. I'm going to put in um, some, I'm going to create some uh, pages and some new product uh, pages and then I'm also going to uh, go in and uh, duplicate uh, so then there's going to be a new version as well and you'll see that there are no pages there uh, for me to assign. So for example, I'm going to go into here. Uh, this is the demo and we are using Ecomify theme, our base theme. This is going to be um, just for demo purposes. So I have uh, this store right here and I go in and I'm gonna name this, let's say for example, actually what we're gonna do, you'll see right here, pro uh, products, there's only a default product template right here. Uh, so there, there's, a couple set, there's a couple things I wanna uh, set up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and add uh, the most updated uh, version right over here and give me a second. Um, I'm going to go in, add this here, and I'm also going to go in, take my license, and I'm, I'm doing this all in real time for you guys so you can kind of see um, if there is any mishap, misunderstanding, or a uh, struggle uh, in, in this whole creation part of it. Uh, so as this is loading, this is going to be a brand new fresh copy down here and I'm going to go and customize and then put in my license so everything is all activated uh, once Shopify loads. Right over here, I'll go in, uh, license. I'm just gonna update that, uh, save. Again, Shopify always is a uh, little finicky. So we'll go in. So I'm already in, so that's great. So what I'm going to do is notice that this is going to be the draft and I'm going to go in so I can kind of uh, differentiate between. I'm going to rename this and I'm going to uh, rename this as, uh, I don't know, um, testing. Uh, so this is going to be the one that I have the new edits on. Most of the time when you go in and you have a new theme or when you are testing out a new theme, it's always going to be on the uh, uh, as a draft unless you're going to go and publish. So when you're on a draft, uh, you're not going to be able, you're going to be able to create the, uh, the custom pages and the custom product templates, um, but they're not going to be visible uh, on the on the uh, live store. So for example, I'm gonna go into here and I'm going to go in and I'm gonna create some um, pages here, uh, some templates actually. And I'm gonna go in uh, product, I'm gonna name this one uh, testing one and it's gonna be, by, it's gonna be uh, set as a default product template. Uh, you have to base it off of um, a, another template. So I'm just gonna do it off the default one. And then right over here, uh, so Shopify, uh, for example, always lands on kind of like their default product. It might not be exactly, uh, exactly this one that you are going to assign. So don't fret about that. You can go in here and, uh, and change the preview to whatever product uh, you actually want it to uh, be assigned to when going live. Uh, so let's say, for example, this is going to be the uh, men's tank top, and I want this one to have different content uh, than all of the other content on the default uh, product. Uh, and uh, I just want to say uh, thank you so much for Childerheads for letting us uh, use uh, your uh, products and your product images uh, for, for demo purposes. Uh, Childerheads, thank you so much. Uh, so going into here, uh, I'm in uh, this product template. So whatever I'm changing in here, I'm only going to change the content uh, displayed on testing one template. Uh, so to do this, let's just go in and let's add uh, something so you can kind of see uh, what it looks like. I'm gonna delete all these because um, we give you options, but you don't need to have all of them. So we're gonna just go in and have the animated calendars at the very top so we can kind of see uh, 
that it won't uh, change the structure and we can kind of uh, differentiate between them. So now what I'm going to do is notice how testing one is here. Um, I'm going to go back out of my theme editor and I'm going to show you um, going into products. When you go into the products, um, let's go to the tank top, for example, the one that we want to assign. When you go to the products and midway down, default product, because the theme is not live, you can't assign the template yet. Uh, and so it's not going to be available for you to assign. However, let's just Let's just do this and uh, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to actually publish the theme that I, I had the custom product template on, which was the testing one. After you give Shopify a bit to, uh, 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 to update, you can go back into your products here um, and go into tank top, for example, the one that you actually want uh, to assign. So now that production uh, that was just drafted, that turned, that became live, I'm going to go into the, my, I'm going to go into my uh, theme template here. And now you see that testing one is available for me to assign. So right now I'm going to view this and it is the default one. So it has everything that was there from the default template and it's using the default template. However, if I go into here and I change out the, pro uh, the product template to testing one, um, I need to give Shopify a bit to update. Um, eventually, it's going to have the product template uh, that I chose with the uh, animated counters right after the product form. Um, so <clears throat> it hasn't updated yet. Um, one of the quick ways you can uh, update is inspect element, just like I did here. Uh, just right click inspect element, and then I'm going to go and hover over the refresh so I get a uh, a empty cache and hard reload. So this should, after it just reloads, give me that new product template and display. It hasn't yet, um, not sure why, but let's just go in um, and preview this animated counters. Now it's there. So it does take a bit for it to reflect uh, sometimes, and that's uh, Shopify's end, but uh, here it is, it is, um, using this new product template, the one that we added the animated counters to. And also you'll see testing one is being applied. And when you go in, um, exit out, when you go into the testing, the one I just published, I go into customize and you'll see because it's live state, uh, go into the my products, you'll see that testing one, um, there is a template testing one and it is assigned to one uh, product right now. Um, if you assign more to that template, it's going to tell you, oh, it is assigned to 23 products or 56 products. Um, so right here, it is uh, this one then when you go in and uh, when you go into that product template that already has it assigned, it's going to fall by, it's going to fall on a product that uh, is already assigned to that uh, template. So you can kind of see how that works. Um, now, when you go to default uh, product, it will just go into a random one, a random product uh, from your product list library that, um, that, ha that uh, is using the default product. So that's where that stands. Um, now, going into here, I'm going to go in and that, that basically is a logic for, uh, for the product templates, it is the same logic uh, for pages as well. So for example, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna publish the previous one to show you uh, what I mean by pages. Uh, so going to here, I'm going to name a page and I'm going to create a page and I'm gonna call it um, uh, testing, oops, testing one. I'm gonna go in and save it. Now you'll see here, uh, because because of the theme that I just uh, published, so going into your online store, this uh, differs. Like for example, if you're using Dawn, they only give you a contact page. You're gonna have to create the about page. You're gonna have to create other uh, terms and service pages if you if you want. But by default, they have contact us. Whereas here, uh, we provide you with already a lot of pages um, to use to you. So you can see the pages that we offer right here by going to. Uh, the, this navigation here, and then uh, Shopify did update their navigation here. Uh, so I'm going to go to pages, and then you'll see that we gave you a template already, the about, the brands, the contact, an FAQ, a quiz, and a tracking page. Uh, so if you see these already, what you would uh, need to do is go into uh, your pages here, and I'm going to go in, and I don't have a tracking page, for example, but when I go in and add a page, 
I see my templates available, the ones I just mentioned. So I can go in and already assign the tracking page and I would just, so the tracking template is already there for you. You just have to go and create the, the page, the title, and then assign it. Uh, so I'm creating that. Um, so that is great and I am viewing this and this is my tracking page uh, for it. However, if I go in to my theme editor, I go in under the testing, the theme that is drafted. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna create a page. Let's go in and create a new page. So pages and I'm gonna create a new page and I'm gonna name it um, testing one and I want it to be on uh, based on the brands page. Uh, so I can have it based on the brands page and here and then I'm just gonna go in and add an image with text uh, just so you can kind of see um, what that look like. So I'll do a image or I'll do, oops, I hate that Shopify um, add section thing. Um, here, I'm just gonna save it. So now because I'm on the draft, because I redrafted this uh, and I have testing one as a page template, if I go back, uh, go back into here and I go in and I go to pages and I go to testing one, which is the one that I want to assign, the theme is not live yet. So I can't, I don't, I can't see that template here. I can't see uh, to assign that template as well, unless I go and uh, make the theme live. Uh, so going on to the online store, um, I have the testing one as a product and a testing one as a page. Um, I have it here, but again, the only way to see that and assign that is if I publish the drafted, wait for it to update, and then I can go into pages here, uh, go into testing one, and I'm going to want to see that new testing one page template be available because I just, uh, I just published it live. So going to here and now I've testing one. So that's great. I just go, I save it. And now it should not be displaying the default pages. Uh, one of the reasons why um, all the content is looking alike is because there are no custom um, product templates or pages that you have created for it. So any, so the structure stays the same and any content that you change out when changing on the default uh, page or default product, it's going to change across uh, the whole board unless you create the pages. So uh, testing one, I've assigned it and I'm going to view it and this should have the new image with text uh, on top, which it does. So that's great. Uh, so Again, um, it is a bit confusing, uh, especially about uh, you know why we can't see it live, why we can't see it in action. Now there is something um, that you can get around. There is a little ra uh, a roundabout that you can uh, go and, and view. So let's say for example, I go in and I customize my my um, my live store, and I want to see that uh, tracking one, for example. Uh, let's go into here. And what I'm gonna do is uh, pages, and I'm gonna go into testing one. And so I see right now, the, the, I see right now that new testing one that was on my drafted. And the only reason why I see that is because I use the same naming convention when creating that template, testing one. So as long, here's the, here's the way to circumvent this. The way to see some pages, if not all pages, um, when working on drafted on the live store is keeping that same naming convention structure when you're creating the page template. Uh, so for example, the reason why, again, this image with text, this brands, this testing one page uh, displays on my live store is because testing one is already also a, um, a template in the drafted, like I showed you before. Um, and that goes the same with other pages as well. So as long as they have the same page structure, um, then uh, you can uh, most likely see, see that. Now, if, now the only reason, only now a couple uh, ways for uh, a drafted theme not to be able to uh, be visible uh, on the live store is if on the live store there are no um, page it, no templates with that name already. So if they're brand new, they're not going to be visible unless you view them on the, uh, on the, in the theme editor, uh, in the theme editor. Uh, so here you can also go in and edit code. And if you are, and if you don't like the name of it, you can go in, uh, directly here, go into your products, your product template, your product JSON, uh, right here. And, uh, and just, you know, you can edit or you can uh, edit or delete the template name as well. Uh, so <clears throat> that's one way to go about it. Now, if you do make a lot of uh, 
templates and you don't want and you don't want to uh, keep all those and you just want to keep a really nice clean or organized uh, um, theme then you can go in I'm gonna go in here and for example I'm just gonna go into here and uh, let's see here it is and you can just go in and delete all the all the additional code uh, that you have so wait now I'm a bit confused um, it's just a lot of back and forth. Okay, so testing, I'm just going to go into here and I see testing one. And if you have, let's say, for example, testing two, testing three, which obviously is not testing your, just make sure also that when you name your um, your product templates that they are going to be like uh, for assigned for hoodies or they are going to be assigned for t-shirts and then you can go in and you can uh, assign that uh, template correctly so here if you have a lot of them go into the code and directly just delete that uh, template you can't undo it but you can always recreate it back into the uh, customizer exactly how you want um, i hope that this does give you some understanding a more clear understanding of uh, of custom page templates, custom product templates. It is a bit confusing. It is definitely a learning curve. The hard part is um, when customers come back and say, oh, why can't I view this when the theme is drafted? Well, this is exactly why. So a way to go about it is if you follow the same naming, construct, uh, naming structure, uh, but even so, sometimes you're just gonna have to view it in the theme editor uh, for it. But don't fret. The only, one of the only reasons, unless you figure out that way uh, with the same naming structure, uh, is to uh, view it and publish it and then go in and assign the pages. I hope this does help. Uh, thank you so much uh, for watching and please uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you.